Hi everyone, this is Muzammil and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to use Google Scholar, EndNote and a plugin called Zotero together to increase our efficiency in downloading automatic citations from Google Scholar. Now we know that we can import citations from Google Scholar into EndNote. If you don't know how to do that, let's take a look at that. I'll go to Google Scholar and search for a keyword innovation in this case and then let's say I want to download the citation for this article next I'll click on scholar preferences on the top right hand corner and then I'll go to the bottom of the page and I'll select EndNote here and then say preferences it takes us back to the page original page and you can notice that there is one additional option here now which is import into EndNote so as the name suggests, I'll click on import into EndNote and the citation will be imported into my EndNote software that's here. Now, we imported this citation uh, just now and we did it for one citation only. Sometimes you need to do it for multiple citations. For example, let's say you want to download citations for all the articles available on this page. How can you do it? Well, to do that, you need to install a plugin called Zotero. You can get it free of cost from Google, this one. And then you'll click on download here and download it for Firefox. It's available currently for Firefox only. So you'll download it and then follow the procedures, restart your browser, and you should have this Z icon here in your Firefox it should be either Z or it should be Zotero Z O T E R O once you do that you'll go back to your Google Scholar and then the normal way you will search for your keyword and then at the top here you will notice this yellow icon when you click on it it will present you with all the citations on that page so these are the citations that were available on the Google Scholar page. I'll select them all or I'll select a few of them and then I'll click on OK. Now notice on the right hand side the citations are being downloaded together. Now the citations are done and once the download is complete I'll click on the Z icon here or the Zotero icon as the case may be. And I can see all my references here, the ones I downloaded just now. I'll click on any one of them. I'll do a Control A to select them all. I'll right click again and then I'll select Export Selected Items. Once I do that, the format here should be RIS. And then I'll click on OK. It will ask me for a destination folder. I'll put them on desktop and I'll save. Next, I'll go to my desktop and I can see the file downloaded here. I'll click on the file. And when I click on it, I'll see all the references imported into my EndNote library in one go. Very convenient, very useful. Thanks for watching this video.